Hey all, Will Healy here. Um, we're going to do another basics for you of automation. And uh, after being at Automate, there were so many six-axis robots there that I just, uh, I, I thought this would be a good one for everybody. And so I want to go through what are the six axes of a robot and so you can have an idea of, of how a robot moves. So an axis, just to start, is just a, a place where it can move. So think about like the joints or one motion, right? One direction of motion. So um, so the first uh, axis of a six axis robot, so this is a six axis robot, we're going to go through it today, but the first action is just rotating here along the base, right? So that's the first axis that just allows the robot to turn back and forth. Most robots have a limitation, you know, 300 degrees or something, not usually 365, but some, some can do that. And then the next axis is, is right here and it allows it to, you know, pitch forward there. So that's the second axis there. And then the third joint of motion, the third place where it can move, <coughs> is right here. So that's that's axis number three. So you see axis number three there. It's moving back and forth, I'm trying to isolate each one as best I can. And then axis number four is actually the rotation here. So if you can see, this is the rotation here, right here through the through the arm of the the robot. You can see there's an axis of rotation there. Axis number five, you can see a pivot here, so it actually can pivot back and forth. So that's axis number five. Uh, and so you see axis number five there. And then axis number six sometimes can be hard to see, but it's actually right here on the faceplate at the end of the robot. And it allows it to turn back and forth. So if you have tooling out there, kind of like on my wrist, right? It allows my wrist to turn back and forth and do different things. And so those are the six axes of a robot, the, the rotation at the base, the, the the pitching there and then up here at the maybe we'll call the elbow you've got the the movement here you've got the rotation here axis number four rotating here um, so hopefully you can see that and then uh, axis number five and then number six is here on the end moving back and forth like a wrist so I um, hope that helps you out there if you if you weren't really sure what the six axes of a robot are uh, and uh, thanks to my friends at KUKA for sending me my demonstration today and until next time ask yourself what will I automate next